Hello everyone, this is to correct the errors I made in the solution to IGCSE Mathematics variant 058041 October November 2023. My sincere apology goes to my viewers and subscribers. Most of these videos were recorded in the midnight due to my busy schedule at work which led to uh, the errors. Also, I would like to show my sincere appreciation to all my viewers and subscribers who drew my attention to the errors. A big thank you to everyone. Let's look into the errors. Here, we are to expand and simplify this expression. So this is correct, but there is an error here. 15 minus 15x minus 6x so that should give us 9x okay but i wrote negative x here okay so i did 5x minus 6x so it was in the night okay so uh the correct answer will be 9x then minus 10 okay so that is the correct answer 9x minus 10 as 15x subtract 6x gives 9x okay so that will be the answer there so let's go to the next one so the next one is this the diameter of mass is 39.2 percent greater than the diameter of mercury calculate the diameter of mercury so this was wrongly interpreted okay so um actually this 6,800 is the uh, percentage of mercury at 139.2, okay? So I'm going to erase this. So let's solve it again. So we are told that uh, we are being given the diameter of uh, mass to be 6,800. If you go to the table here, so this is the diameter of mass is 6,800. So from there, we can easily say that, let's scroll down a little bit. So we can easily say that um, the diameter of mercury is 6,800. Okay, so let's start with mercury at 100%. Okay, so the uh, diameter of mercury is unknown. So we'll let it be X. Okay, but we are told that uh, the diameter of mass is 39.2 percent okay greater than the diameter of mercury so the diameter of mercury is given as 6800 so the implication is that it will be 100 plus 39.2 so which is 139.2 percent okay so we need to find uh the diameter of mercury by cross multiplying so if you do this it will give you x equals to 6800 multiplied by 100 divided by 139.2 so if you do that that will give you 4885 kilometers so let's go to the next one so this is question 5a okay so we are asked to find the angle of a c d okay so this is correct this is correct okay and um, the error is here when i added 54.5 to 106.5 so it should be 161 but i wrote this so this is an error so what we should have so this should have been uh, let's remove this so it will be um that is 161 okay so from there so this is incorrect so we can remove this okay then from here we can see that tan x is equals to uh 83.2 over 161 then take tan inverse of both sides x will be equals to tan inverse of 83.2 over 161 so you can put it in a bracket so if you input this into your calculator, you should get x to be equals to 27.3 degrees. This will be 
uh, degrees. So that's the value of angle ACD. Let's go to the next one. Question 6A. We are given three uh, sequences. Sequence A, sequence B, and sequence C, respectively. So the nth term is wrong here. Okay. So because I unconsciously changed the question, okay, so I add the first term to be 1 over 20, uh, one over 9, so whereas we don't have it there, okay, so that led to the error, okay, so the first term here is 2 over 27, okay, and you can see that the difference in the numerator is 1, okay, so that means the numerator should be n plus 1, so if you have n to be equals to 1, that's the first term. So you have 1 plus 1, 2. Second term will be 2 plus 1, 3. Okay, over. So the uh, the denominator is also 3 to the power of 3, 3 to the power of 4, 3 to the power of 5, and so on and so forth. You can see that you have a difference of 1. Okay, and if n is equals to 1, so for us to get uh, 3 to the power of 3, that means we need to add two to reach so that means the denominator will be three to the power of what n plus two so let's test this for the for the denominator you have three to the power of one plus two you'll get three which is 27 two plus two that is three to the power of four you get it's one and so on and so forth so the nth term will not be this it will be n plus one okay over 3 to the power of n plus 2. So that will give you the correct uh, sequence there. So let's go to the next one. This is question 9e. So we are to expand this expression and compare it with this. So when I was expanding, so I made a mistake here. This should be 4x squared, okay, and not 14x squared. So you should have 4 x squared here yeah? and when you compare so the that is when you compare the left hand side with this expression here yeah? so b should be 4 and not 14 okay so the value of b should be 4 and not 14 so if you express these three uh terms here yeah? so you should get 3x cubed plus sorry minus 12x squared plus 15x squared then minus 60x plus x squared minus 4x plus 5x minus 20 so this this and this will add up to uh, 4x squared because minus 12x squared plus 15x squared gives plus 3 s squared so plus 3 s squared add 1 s squared it will be 4 s squared so you have 3 s cube okay um, plus 4 x squared okay then um, minus 60 x plus uh, 50, uh, 5 x so that will give you uh, minus uh, 55 x okay so minus 55 x minus 4 x we give you minus 59x and you have minus 20 okay mm -hmm.